How you doing everyone? Scott, finally back with an update. It just seems that time is running away this year. I can't believe it's almost July and it's almost a year since I've been in the VC. So um, yeah, thought I'd uh, try and get some videos in. And I actually might run a wee contest for um, my one year in the VC, but I'm not sure yet. I'll see how many contests are going about because there seems to be a lot just now. So, And um, while I'm on that note, I am not entering any contests just now just because I don't have any time. It's not that I don't support your channels, um, but like I said, I don't have, even have any time to do my own um, updates, never mind contests. So um, bear with me, I do have um, a bit more of a free and easy time over the next few months. So um, hopefully I'll be making a lot more videos than I am just now. Uh, so anyway, on to my vinyl update. Um, the majority of the vinyl I'm going to show is actually from John Vinylizer. He um, had a few pieces up for sale that I just thought I had to jump on. Um, some of them are a wee bit damaged because John just seems to buy all the damaged goods from Amazon for some reason. I don't know why he does that. Um, <laughs> but every time he buys something, it comes damaged. But um, so what's happened is he's bought a record, it's been damaged, and instead of them wanting it back, they just say keep it, and then they send him another one, so he's kind of got sitting with duplicates, so I kind of jumped on a couple of them and a couple of others as well, so I'm going to get into them. Uh, so the first one is Scorpions and Love at First Thing. Now you realise, obviously if you've been watching my last couple of videos, I am getting into the Scorpions. Um, I don't know why it's not taken me why it, sorry, why it's taken me so long to do so, but I'm finally um, getting into the Scorpions. And this was actually my next album on the list to pick up from them. And then I saw John was um, getting rid of this one, so I jumped on it. Um, really great album, apart from Rock You Like a Hurricane, which I just can't stand. I'm sure it's, a, I'm sure it's the same with a lot of you guys as well. It's just one of those songs that has been played to death. Um, on the inside you do have the lick sheet and photo of the band. Now the damage to this is a seam split um, on the inner here and it's also split on this side here. Um, obviously the record's been rattling around inside the inner sleeve but it doesn't really bother me. Um, there are a couple of hairline scratches on the vinyl as well but it's nothing that should affect play, so um, that is that. So really happy to pick that up, so thanks for that, John. Um, as well as the vinyl, you also get the CD, which I'm really happy about because I obviously didn't have the CD. And you also get uh, the bonus CD, which is live in Madison Square Garden, so really happy with that as well. So good wee package. Uh, next up is also... A duplicate that John had from Amazon and it's this year's release from the Dead Daisies, uh, Burn It Down, which is also an album I really want to pick up uh, but just never really got around to it and the first thing it hits you is that cover, I mean how cool is that cover? Um, it does come in as gatefold and inside you get the inner with lyrics and also comes on this really cool looking um, smoky black and red vinyl with custom labels so really happy to pick that up um, if you've not heard or heard of the Dead Daisies it's basically uh, John Karabi on vocals who's with The Scream and Motley Crue um, I really love his voice. I never used to like it because I always used to compare it to Vince Neil and I'm a massive Motley Crue fan and um, I just never thought John Karabi's vocals fit with Motley Crue and you can see all you want about Vince Neil's vocals because I know they're absolutely shit now um, but it does have an absolutely amazing voice and the music on this is just that kind of guitar driven heavy rock it's just um, uh, really really good stuff so 
that is the vinyl. Um, the damage to this as well was just a slight um, nick out of the top of the gatefold sleeve. But again, I'm not going to worry about that. And again, you also get the CD with it. So really happy to have that as well. That we go in my car. So thanks for that, John. Uh, next one is not a new release, but it's an album that I've been looking for on vinyl for a while. I've had it on CD for ages, um, but really wanted to pick it up on vinyl. And it's Megadeth and Peace Cells. Um, really great condition. Uh, it's not the original press. But, I mean, because it's, it's heavy, it's on heavy vinyl. And it does have a couple of scuffs on the vinyl as well, but um, nothing that I'll be worrying about um, on the capital label. So, when John showed that one, I was all over it. So, that is... Megadeth P Cells. And the last one I received from John is an album that I also have on CD, but it's an album that is quite hard to pick up on vinyl and you'll probably hardly ever see it in the world. And it's uh, Pantera's uh, Vulgar Display of Power from 1992. Um, it's the back there. So again, when John showed this, I was all over it. Got the lyrics there and the band there. There is, I mean, slight damage to the the sleeve. It's just a, a crease on the back, but again, does not bother me in the slightest. So um, that is Pantera. Now for my grail this is not from john this is the one album that i've picked up over the last couple of weeks and it's an album that i've been trying to track um for at least four or five months and it's just never shown up until now well it actually showed up about two months ago um it was on ebay and it came up and i got a notification to say that this item had been posted on ebay so i got all excited and it came up and it was £25 and I thought it is a grail but at this point in time there's other cheaper albums I could buy for the price of that record so I just left it uh, had a bit of self control and just let it be and uh, then about four weeks later um, it came up again I got a notification and it was the same seller it obviously hadn't sold uh, the first time, so he'd knocked a fiver off it, so it was £20, so I thought, mm, started to swither, and then, but still, I thought, no, I'm not paying that for it. So, another couple of weeks went past, and it never sold, and then it got put up again, and it got put up for nine ninety nine. so that I was happy with, so I bought it there and then. And the album is Dangerous Toys. Uh, self-titled um, absolutely amazing album I also have this on CD which is again not easy to find even on CD um, but when I saw this come up for £10 I thought there's no way I am leaving that there so um, it's a really really hard album to come by I don't know what it's like in the US or other places uh, Australia or other places in Europe but this is a hard album to find um, in the UK, so I had to I had to grab it, especially at that price. Um, vinyl is in absolutely excellent condition. Comes with original inner, um, with lyrics, and the back here. It does have a seam split. Oh no, it doesn't have a seam split. Oh no, it does have a seam split, but it's. Um, that's upside down to where the record goes in, so it's just confusing. Um, I don't know where I am right now. Um, so yeah, Dangerous Toys, that is my grail. Uh, really happy to pick that up. And hopefully, 
I will see you guys soon and I'll try not to leave it as long next time I know I said that in my last video, but I was just bullshitting you all, so. Uh, so let me know what you think, let me know what you think of my pickups and my grail, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.